Hello everyone at Drivazoid. I'm going to try to do this. Uh, it's probably my fourth time trying to walk through this without screwing it up. And I promised people I'd post this yesterday. So uh, here we go. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is show you guys how I set up my Tyrannus to tune my PIDs. I'm not going to walk you through how to actually tune PIDs and how that process goes, but I'm just going to walk you through how I set up Beta Flight or Clean Flight, Race Flight, whatever. Um, and how I set up my Tyrannus and how I work them together. So what I do is in the end I'll have this switch A, control P, I, D. So that's going to switch between what I'm going to be adjusting. And I have switch B, um, switch between whether I'm incrementing it or decrementing it. So if it's up, it's going to go up and then down it's going to go down and then I have the momentary switch back here which is switch uh, H you know that and when you press it that's what actually increments it um, or decrements it in uh, one step based on whatever you're adjusting so if I was in this position right here this is P down and every switch flick um, it would go up, that would have gone up two points. And if you hold it down, it um, will continually go up or down. But uh, yeah, so that's all that work. So let's show how I set this up. So what I would do is I would start with a model that you already have working and binded or um, something that you're already familiar with. So to do that, um, you select the model, you hit enter, hold enter, copy, copy it there, and then select it again. Switch warning. So Engaging fail safe. It's Normal selected mode. now. And then what you do is, if you're in there, if you hit menu, you can go page, 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 page. And then you'll see my inputs. I only have channel five for the arm set on this one so far. Brand new. And then if you go to mixer, go to channel, you select source, hit enter, and then you flip the switch. And that's going to set the switch for channel six. And then you hit exit, 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 and then you go back down to seven, channel seven, hit enter. And then here you go and select the source. And that's going to be channel uh, switch B. And then here and hit enter. And then here you do something different. You go down to this right here, which is switch. And you hit enter. And then you press the momentary switch, switch H. And then hit enter. And then the what? The way that I understand how this kind of works is similar to like a fail safe, but just for this um, channel. Um, I used to actually do this, what this actually does in special features, but then I realized that it was here. So it's so much simpler. Um, so I'm actually glad I waited to post this video. Um, so that's here. That's it here. So now if we look at the uh, software, you'll see. <clears throat> No, I did forget about one other thing. So if we go to output and then you go to channel seven, if you switch directions, it makes things a little bit more intuitive. So like down actually will make the, uh, whatever you're tuning go down um, and up will go up. It just matches it. If you don't, it still works. It just goes the opposite way. Um, so now you'll see Channel aux um, two is down and just moved, and then this is fully up. But when you press the momentary switch, does it actually change the aux three? And then same thing, I mean it's down, but when you let go of the H uh, switch H, it just goes right back to center. So then now, if you go to, you have to switch on expert mode. In beta flight, anyways, and then you click that, and then you'll get adjustments. And then here, 
it, these by default will be all turned off. So you'll have to turn one, two, three, hit aux two, aux two, aux two, which is switch A. <clears throat> you select middle here, a little here, and then a little bit here. And then you could see when you flip the switch, you'll see a little orange move in. So you can make sure you're in the correct regions. And then here you'll go and we'll say roll P, roll I, and then roll D. The slots, you have to all stay the same if you read the directions, which I didn't the first time, um, first few times actually. Uh, I tried doing slot two, three, it doesn't work like that. You actually, here you just hit um, aux three, aux three, and then aux three, and that's going to be the combination between switch B and the momentary switch H. And then if you hit save, if you go into PIDs, now you'll see, so currently we have 50, 33, 31. So if I want to say, let's go to 55, I would switch H, switch A is up, switch B is up. And if I hit this five times, oh, I wasn't counting, but I think that was five. Um, that should be up five. Up oh, six, I missed counted. But so let's go down one. There you go. So then the uh, I, let's bring this up to 33. <clears throat> and this isn't how you would tune. Um, watch another video on how to do that or ask and how to do that, and I'll show you how I do it. Um, but let's do D to give that, and we'll go down one to bring that even to 30. And then refresh. There we go. So that's basically it. Um, I basically hit with stock and hit P, go up until it gets to last the lead, and then bring it down a little bit, play with P or play with I, go down and up. And basically that's what I do. And then once I'm done, uh, obviously I land and then um, connect everything up and then just turn off these three switches and that's it. And then I would end up actually just going back and using your other model that you were actually originally using and then maybe renaming this one to tuning. And then whenever you need to tune something else, just bind it, bind to it and it has all the switches already set up and that's it. So I hope you like that. Um, if you do like it or subscribe or do whatever you want to do. And thank you for watching.